Hello there guys, Coaster Chal here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to the trip review from the Alton Towers Resort. Obviously you've seen the Gangster Grain of the Ride review, go and check that out if you haven't already, it's unbelievable. And we've got more content from Alton Towers to come, some off-ride videos, it's all going down, stay tuned for all of that. But in this video we're going to go through the whole trip, we're going to go through the ride, uh, Wicker Man, Rita, Smiler, Runaway Mine Train, a quick brief on Gangster Granny for those of you who didn't see the review uh, separately in the videos. Uh, we're also going to talk about other experiences like food, um, you know, places to sit down, um, you know, different things like that. And we're also going to speak about the overall staff, how they've how they've handled it, how they've handled the restrictions, how they've you know kept us safe. And trust me, I've got some great reviews from the staff. Uh, so if you're watching this Alton Tower staff, big up yourself for the day. It was unbelievable. And thank you for treating me to a wonderful uh, 21st birthday on the day. But before you get started, guys, like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, see this YouTube video, do all that usual good stuff. We're on the road to 3k and a million views. Let's get there as soon as possible. Also, guys, check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you can submit your own ideas for the channel. And for now, guys, let's go on about my trip. So, first ride of the day was Wicker Man, the GCI wooden roller coaster. And let me just say, it was a pretty good ride experience, as per usual. Uh, a little bit rattly, but I think with wooden coasters you expect that. So, uh, you know, I, I don't think I don't know if I'm the, the only one to have said that, but I think it's a little bit more rattly than previous years. Uh, but I think overall. It's still a wonderful ride experience. It's still my top coaster by a long way now. And I'll speak about Nemesis in a little bit. But still my top coaster. Always been my top coaster since 2018. And uh, it's going to take a lot now to top Wicker Man. Uh, then we went on to Gangster Grand of the Ride. Like I said, I'm not going to go into too much detail about that. Um, you know, I've gone through all that in the review. So go and watch the video. But all in all, it was a decent ride. Didn't mind the breakdown for its first year. But overall, it was uh, overall pretty decent. Uh, of course, in terms of other rides that we went on the jet. Well, I went on the day. We had Rita, Queen of Speed. Of course, now known as Rita. Rita... I think it was all right. I, I, to be honest with Rita, I think it was just very, very rattly. I was just saying to myself, bring it on. I didn't expect my... I think I didn't prepare for that forceful launch again. I think I've... But I, it's one of those parts of the ride that I've missed, to be honest, because, um, you know, I think the acceleration on the and the force of the launch uh, sort of takes you aback and, you know, puts all the wind in your hair and things like that. So, uh, you know, I think it was one of those things that, I, that sort of took me by surprise, even though I kind of expected it to happen. So I've, I've ridden this ride for a good few years now. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've ridden this ride as, as Rita Queen of Speed, and I've ridden it as Rita, so... I knew what was going to happen on this ride by a long by a long shot, but it doesn't mean after two years of not being on the towers, I'm still not taken aback by that launch. Unbelievable launch, but uh, just again, just very very rattling. I'm not too sure why, but um, you know, it's not, Rita's not everyone's cup of tea. I thought it was pretty decent. It was all right, not the best coaster in the world, but it was just an okay coaster for the UK and a good coaster for Alton Towers. Um, in terms of 13, couldn't get on that on the trip. It was a 90 minute queue there was no chance of getting on it uh, in that trip hopefully one day either this year or next year i'll be back at alton towers uh and i'll try and get on 13 same with galactica i think again the queue was closed at full capacity I, once i did nemesis i wanted to go on galactica and then i found out the queue had closed due to full capacity and it was running super slow uh so and galactica at the minute it's just not really exciting me so uh, uh to be honest i think galactica i love the space portal but if you want me to be brutally honest and i'll probably do a separate video on this and why i think this i think keep the portal but tie it into the air theme and just bring the air theme back in a brand new way. Like, use the screen in the queue line, bring a storyline into it, just go back to air. Just go back to air because Galactica debuted with the VR. The VR's gone now. It just feels like a space ride at the bottom of Forbidden Valley. So, if you want my honest opinion, keep the portal, bring in a new storyline for the old air theme, but bring it back to air. Just just reimagine air in a new way with the same name as, as, as air. Air. So, um, you know, that would be my guess. But that's just, I'll do probably do that in a separate video at some point in the future as to why. And comment down below if you do want that video as soon as possible. Why you think I should change it back to air. How would I redesign it, etc. 
Um, in terms of other coasters, might as well talk about Nemesis while well, talk about Forbidden Valley. Didn't do any of the retro squads, you know, I think the queues were too long at that point, so uh, there was no point of doing it. Uh, and besides, I already, I already did a waltzer, so uh, if they're coming back next year, or if I get a chance to go again this year, then uh, I might do the ride, but uh, the rides, but uh, unfortunately not. Uh, but Nemesis, uh, I think again, it was still a great coaster. It's gone down to number three. It's gone down to number three in my top three coasters. Second is Swarm, first is Wickerman, obviously. Nemesis has gone down to number three, and to be honest with you, it's just got more rattly. And, you know, I think, you know, I, I did the video, you know, pretty much at the end of last year, speaking about the rumours of a of, of a major refurbishment happening to Nemesis either this year or next year. Uh, new trains, re complete retrack. If that rumour's true, I expect it to be happening over the 2022 season and reopen for 2023, or maybe it happens over 2023 and he, you know you, you get it open for for 2024 for the uh, for the anniversary of the ride and get the refurbishment open for the anniversary of the ride uh but i think overall it was just very very rattly it looks rusty i saw in the queue line i, I can't believe i didn't get any footage of the queue line but in the queue line and people may have noticed this as well some of the paint's drying off on the station on, on that lovely station where they did, they did a few years back and that Wonderful Towers Loving Care program they did on the station. One year on the uh, one side of the station, one year on the outside of the station. They've got the chat repaints and stuff like that. It's all starting to come off now. It's looking rusty. It's looking uh, It's looking a bit hard done by now. And we need a full refurbishment on that coaster now. In, in my opinion, if it needs to... Now this is going to stay here for quite some time. It's still going to stay here for many generations to come. But... It just isn't the same coaster. It just needs that new lease of life, in my opinion. So, just get that refurbishment done as soon as possible. Get it done for the anniversary, and uh, we'll all be happy bunnies. Um, now, obviously, in terms of other rides, Runway Mine Train. Couldn't get on the rapids. The queue was busy as hell. But, Runway Mine Train, again, you can't beat a classic Runway Mine Train. We had a two-lap special on there. Choo-choo, oh yes. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it, it was a wonderful ride experience. Again, you, you can't beat it. I think because I've got massive knees, that's why they belted across the bar for so long. And the bar just kept rattling into my kneecap. But that's, it's because I've got massive knees. If you've got small knees or smaller knees than mine, then you'll be fine. But I think for me, it was just very rattly on the knees. But that's just me with the massive knees. Apart from that, it was brilliant. Um... Obviously, Hex, that was our last ride of the day. Um, I think that was, was was pretty decent. That was really good. I know a door had to be open during some of the pre-shows because obviously, you know, COVID and circulating the air kind of thing. So taking that out of, out of the situation here, I thought it was a really good ride. I think they've done the system all too well. I still get that anticipation of trying to hide the bags under the desks, under the benches, uh, before the whole, you know, madhouse scene. Obviously, I didn't film the pre-shows this time. Uh, probably next time I'll film the pre-shows again for you guys. Um, and going into X Sector, the Smiler obviously was uh, a big ride there that we went, that I got on, and uh, again that was a good ride for me. Uh, I think that was a better ride than previous years. Probably one of the better rides I've had on Smiler. Uh, I was in the, I was on the left, uh, the far left, the first seat on the left hand side, on the front row. Now. Obviously that it, it was wonderful. It was wonderful to get that seating arrangement and it it still feels rattly on the shoulders But apart from that it was still a good ride like I say it was probably my one of my better rides I had on Smiler um, So I think overall in terms of rides and attractions pretty good uh, Now in terms of the food offerings I had a lovely rollover hot dog from the uh, stand next to the welcome in and it was a wonderful hot dog. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I was going to put some ketchup on it, but I thought, nah, I'm going to eat it right then and there. So, I think that was a, a wonderful meal. I think that it was, it was great for the price. It wasn't too over the top in terms of price, but I think overall it was pretty good. Um... And then finally, the staffing and how they handled with the restrictions. I think, again, that was amazing how they've handled it. I think big up to the park again for doing all that. They stuck to the restrictions. They've filled up all the rows now. They've, you know, kept social distancing in the queue lines. It's all gone well. And uh, big up to the staff at Alton Towers. So, there we go. Trip review done and dusted. Thank you so, so much, guys, for watching this. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell, Kill on the Coast Life. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an old, fantastic day. Yeah.